Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Lake Part 4. So this one's going to be a short episode. We're just kind of finishing up where I cut off on episode 3. So we're going to go pick up Mortimer and then we're going to go and have our little sit down meeting with Angie and see what she's up to. And then in episode 5 we'll pick up on a fresh new day which would be the game day of September 5th. So let's get right into it. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we have to uh, pick up Mortimer down at Mackey's. So I'll go ahead and jump cut through this and I'll catch back up with you once we get closer to Mr. Mackey's place. All right, here we are. Maybe he'll be in a better mood today. <laughs> Maybe he just needed a nap before. A little crabby, you know? And maybe this time, Meredith won't throw the cat like a football in the back of the van. I don't know. <laughs> that was funny. And we'll go right up the stairs this time, because we know he's probably standing up there. He can probably check first. Maybe, right? Let's see. Is Sam? Yeah. There he is. Don't throw the cat in the water, Mackie. I'll take pictures. Hi there, Mr. Mackie. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Eh, he's a little bit better mood. I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Yep, he was much more pleasant. Let's see. Hello, Mortimer. <laughs> Time to go home to your crazy mother. Hopefully she won't feed you cupcakes again. <laughs> now let's see, if I get in instead, just like this will allow me to get in, it does. Yeah, that way the, let's see, is the cat carrier in the front? It is. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty funny though in the last episode. She overhanded that thing. <laughs> and I'm only laughing because it's a game. We have two kitties of our own, Lily and Otis, and I would never, ever do anything to hurt our special little ones. Hello, Mildred. Hello. She's already waiting out front. I'm going to pull over here. There we go. Go around the front. Look who's back. Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! <coughs> yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? <coughs> anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. Well, look at that. We're on a first name basis. Oh, we got the achievement. The cat lover. There we go. Check that off the list. So, uh, Mildred, any chance I could just call you Millie? Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> just going to sick the cats on me. Let's look at the map. No more mail to deliver, so that means back to the post office. There we go. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you, with your computer background. All right, 
I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. <laughs> so that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well... I do kind of have a thing for nerds, but I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform, so I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? Let's just say I needed a change of scenery. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah, Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter for one thing, slower for another. Yeah, she's gonna get a change of scenery, all right. Old Angie's sweet on her. <laughs> yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean, for free? Yeah, you know the town, you're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. All oh, right, I think I've heard of these. Never seen one though. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which I guess is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Yes, I've met her during my rounds before. Yes, good. I have these two for her. The Love Bug and A Nightmare on Elm Street. This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. That was strange. <laughs> Got any more great coffee? Oh, I have to go, actually. <laughs> Well, let's see how this goes. Oh, just have another cup of coffee. I'd love to, but I really can't. Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, but I'll see you soon, okay? Bye, babe. Babe. Ooh. Let's guess who. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad. How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Uh -oh. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, stand by me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. 
Alrighty. Let's see, is Steve going to call? <laughs> Work on the added 87 material, stay home and watch TV, stay home and read a book. Well, we did promise we'd work on this stuff for them. All right, here we go. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and leave it here. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Looking forward to talking to you down in the comments section as well. If you did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. I would also really appreciate that. So until next time, take great care of yourself and bye for now. <laughs>